In the Ed Burke trial, jurors today heard him on tape frustrated, according to prosecutors, that lucrative tax work from the old post office developers did not happen quickly enough. CBS2 political reporter Chris Ty is just back from federal court for us, where the morning started with a possible mistrial in the case. So, Chris, what has happened this afternoon? Jim and Marie, within the last hour, jurors are hearing the most frustrated Burke yet, secretly recorded, of course, by FBI mole and former 25th Ward Alderman Danny Solis, as they talked about landing work for developer Harry Skydell. Skydell was quarterbacking that project Jim was just talking about, the $800 million old post office project. They needed Burke's help with Amtrak and the Water Department to get it going. When Skydell didn't formally give Burke's law firm work, he pressed Solis, who was serving as the middleman. Do we have the tuna, Burke asks. Almost, Solis says. I told him we aren't very motivated. Burke frames out Solis's profit participation by saying, quote, if we land the tuna, there will certainly be a day of accounting. You can count on it. As weeks turned to months back in 2017, and Burke still hadn't gotten the work promised him, he is seen and heard on tape saying, quote, well, I'm not very um, fond of the way they've conducted themselves up until this point, and as far as I'm concerned, they can go expletive themselves. Good luck getting it on the agenda, he says. The agenda he's talking about is the Finance Committee, of which Burke was the chairman, and whose purse strings controlled tax help the post office developers wanted. So that's where we're at as far as today. Chris, speaking of things wanted, Burke's team ended yesterday with a bombshell, a request for a mistrial. Where does that stand now? Yeah, that was a big one going into last night. The request was rejected from Judge Virginia Kendall. The trial will move on. At issue was an Amtrak executive who used the word corrupt when talking about the Chicago way of doing business. He was told by prosecutors, do not use that word corrupt, but he used it anyway. The judge said it's not grounds for a mistrial, but she told the jury to disregard it. She admonished the witness who hadn't yet been cross-examined. The judge said the feds failed to remind him more recently not to use that word. And the judge took some blame. She said because of a lawyer getting COVID on this case, they had to reshuffle the order that these schemes are being presented. You've heard us talking about Burger King and Binnie's and the old post office. That forced prosecutors to move around witnesses. And in this case, not properly reminding them of words they cannot use, guys. Chris, thank you for all of today's developments.